booktube youtube booktube wherever you came from welcome and today we, i have a very exciting video for you um i'm going to build my bookshelves i can't believe this is finally happening i finally have my own house uh it's empty at the moment as you can hear like i can hear an echo i don't know if you can hear it but i can hear it um anyway um i've been meaning to cover up a whole wall with bookshelves ever since i moved in <laughs> so i uh, i finally have the bookshelves let me show you i finally have the bookshelves here so hopefully we'll get to fill up that wall with books my babies my babies are finally going on the wall finally coming home uh so yes that's what we're doing today. I'm going to try and build them myself, but there are four big bookcases to go up. So I don't know. Uh, Mom and dad are coming soon, so they might give me a hand. I don't know how busy they're gonna be with other things. There, there are other things to do in the house. But anyway, um, yeah, that's what we're doing today. Number one, complete. Tick. <laughs> oh, it's gonna look so pretty. Ah, it's just the first of four. There's two little ones and then two bigger ones. I think the bigger ones should be at the bottom just because they're heavier. But yeah, we have a little one done. Yay. Have a problem look at this i made a boo-boo can you see and another boo-boo over here i made two boo-boos oh no you see i had to use a hammer to connect these two parts you see how they're still not connected yeah hmm yeah, I'm not strong enough to do this, so I used a hammer. I thought, okay, I'm not gonna start banging on the furniture because I know it's going to break. So I used a dish towel. I folded it up, put it there, and started banging. Big mistake. Do not try this at home. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> so now, what do I do? <sighs> Look at that, it's horrible. That might have to be the underside of the bookcase. Like, I think I'm just gonna flip it around and leave that at the bottom because I don't want anybody to see that. <laughs> That's horrible. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I made a boo-boo. Not good. And just like that, we have half a wall done. My goodness this is going to look so good when i have all the books up there now all i need to do is do the other half of the wall ah oh, it's gonna be a long day wish me luck <laughs> Thank you. 
finally done! Hello! Hello! Finally! <laughs> okay, yes, it took me all day. Look, it's dark outside. Yeah. Um, we have one, two, three, four shelves. <laughs> now, Dad's gonna fix them to the wall because, you know, just in case. Like we don't we don't have earthquakes or anything like that in Northern Ireland, but just in case, you never know. <laughs> so yeah, uh, they're all gonna go onto the wall, and then we get to fill them with books and goodies. I can't wait. I cannot wait. All right, that's the task of the day for tomorrow. Today I built the shelves. Dad and I built the shelves, and tomorrow I'm gonna fill up the shelves. So bear with me. Well, for you, it's going to be like 30 seconds, but to yeah. me, it's like a few hours. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Full disclaimer, it's a week later. <laughs> if you've been here before, you won't be surprised. Uh, so I spent most of the week at my parents' house, so I couldn't actually do it. You know, couldn't do the bookshelves. Um, last weekend, the day after I put them up, my wee nephew came and helped me. Thank you, my lovely. Uh, so we had an idea. We're gonna do this rainbow style. Cause yes, we both love rainbows. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna carry on from where we left off. There, there are lots of books here. Let me show you. Hold on a second. If you look down here, lots and lots of books. All these bags are filled with books. There's some on this side as well. There are books everywhere. Oh, let me put you down here. There are books everywhere. Here. <laughs> so we're gonna try and do this. Oh, you're a bit wonky now. Okay, I'm gonna fix this and let's get cracking. Let's do this. books are here some are still at my parents house all my tbr shelf is at my parents house to be honest <laughs> i have a whole shelf of books i haven't read yet but i want to read so those are coming soon i'm gonna put the unread books my tbr down here at the bottom so that's why it's a bit empty let me show you let me do a quick tour so you know what's what i'm kind of happy with it but i'm not done yet Let's just take a peek. So these are my shelves. Aren't they pretty? Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Right, so this is the fireplace. Yeah, ignore that. And I'm gonna put a table here. So I just have this wee mat here just so I know how much room I need and you know, whatever. Um, so I put my series at the top. You know, the most important series, not all of them. I have Cassandra Clare here, Nevermore. Uh, Shades of Magic, my mom has a first book. Mom, I need that book back. Uh, more series, you know, those nostalgic series, you know, good feeling series that you're not gonna read anytime soon. I have my Harry Potter in the corner there, just because, you know. Uh, yeah, then over here, we start our rainbow shelf. We have reds, oranges. I need more orange books. Recommendations, please. Thank you. <laughs> Yellow or golden. Some green. 
Although I'm not quite happy with this green shelf because it's not, I don't know, it's not clearly green. I don't know. This is green in my mind. This is kind of cheating. This is like turquoise and teal and things like that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we have blues. I have four shelves for blues, dark blues and light blues because I have too many blue books, I found out. And there's Millie. Hi, Millie. Yeah, she had to be here. <laughs> and purple with my beautiful globe. I love the globe. And then pink at the corner there, mainly Meg Cabot books. No, just pink, pink things. Little octopus. Okay, then at the bottom, we have our black books. I need more room for blacks. Kind of silver holographic kind of color. I love that series. I might actually set this out like this because it looks better. I don't know. I still, I'm still playing with it. I don't know what I'm going to do with these shelves. My Brandon Sanderson shelf. I love it. Uh, white, white, white. White, white with a bit of gold. My graphic novels in the corner there. Daphne for some reason because I have nowhere else but her. Don't know what to do with these books. They don't really fit anywhere. They're like creamy and colorful. Like, I, don't, I don't know what to do with those. Um, down here we have, hi Max. We have Max from Tangled <laughs> saying hi. Um, these two shelves here, they are books I got in charity shops just for children, children books. That's why Elsa and Anna are there. Because, you know, I'm a primary school teacher. Sometimes you need books. And, you know, whenever I have my own classroom, I can start a little library for the children. So, yeah. These ones at the bottom here. They're going to be filled with unread books. I have plenty of unread books to fill those shelves. For example, these books here. I haven't read them yet. Not yet. Not yet. Hi, little penguin. I'm listening to Aragon and on you know an audiobook and I I need to carry on with the series it's really good and yeah I need to fix that Ugh. Uh, extra black books because they couldn't fit up here so yeah these are my new bookshelves now I'm not the biggest fan of this big cross in the middle here. Do you see that? It forms the shape of a cross right in the middle of my bookshelves. But that's because, you know, there are four books. Four books? <laughs> four bookshelves stuck together. And yeah, uh, I'm not happy with that. I wish it was just one huge bookshelf. But the girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. I don't have one massive bookshelf. I only have four different bookshelves. So that's what we're living with. Right, now, I also have some Christmas lights to put up and I got these LED lights, um, but now I'm not sure how to install them. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be in a different video, I guess, because I don't know what I'm doing with those yet. Yeah, messy, messy house. That's what happens when you move. Oh, I could put this clock somewhere. Oh, I don't know where that's going. Can we fit that there? Oh, maybe we could put it in the middle of the cross. Is that going to look really lame? Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> so these are my bookshelves. I hope you liked this video. I absolutely loved making this video. Also, if you have any recommendations for orange and yellow books, that would be great. Thank you. Yeah, just in case, you know. Also some pink books as well in the corner there. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to put up there. I need more books. I need more series. So yeah, this is it guys. Oh, I'm so happy I finally have a home for my books. So this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my new bookshelves. Look at them. They're so pretty. Uh, so yes, anyway. I hope you like this and if you have any recommendations, you know, suggestions, 
reactions, anything, leave them down below. Like, subscribe, do the whole thing, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.